as a participant and competitor of Massage Championships. Welcome to the International Massage Association's competitor online class hosted by the International Massage Association. Welcome to all of you who are here to learn more about how to compete well in Massage Championships. This class is for those who are planning to compete on national as well as international level and for those who are already competing but want to improve. IMA has made this class in order to help massage competitors to prepare as good as possible, at least for now. Not many schools have classes which prepare the massage therapist for participating at championships. It is therefore important for the International Massage Association to create an opportunity for massage therapists to learn how to compete well and benefit from participating at massage championships. This must be done with as high quality as possible. So the level of massage competitors is rising and hereby the quality of the world's massage therapist is increasing. It will be good for our massage clients and for our profession as well. But first, who am I? My name is Jeppe Tingbjerg. I am the founder and CEO of the International Massage Association, also called IMA. The International Massage Association organized and arranged the World Championship in Massage and other tournaments. You can see a film about the World Championship here. The International Massage Association aims to develop and promote the various massage techniques which are practiced by experienced massage therapists worldwide. The World Championship in Massage as well as national and other championships is a competition but at the same time an opportunity for massage therapists to find professional inspiration and networking. By participating in the World Championship and other championships, the massage therapist will get the opportunity to strengthen and improve their skills. On a daily basis, I own a massage school in Denmark. We teach in many methods, Swedish massage, sports massage, Thai massage, hot stone massage, cupping massage, bamboo massage, etc. We also educate therapists in acupuncture and reflexology. I also teach internationally in many countries as well as educating massage teachers. The purpose of the IMA Massage Competitor class is to develop you, the massage therapist, to be good ambassadors for the various massage techniques which are practiced around the world. IMA's Massage Competitor class is an opportunity for massage therapists to find professional inspiration and ideas of how to give even better therapy at championships in the future. First, what makes a good massage therapist? Please reflect about it for a minute. What skills does a good therapist have regarding techniques, methods, flow and personality? makes a good massage therapist. Here is what we at the IMA thinks. 
The good massage therapist is self-confident. Everything the good massage therapist does, he or she does, for the sake of the clients. The good massage therapist is empathic. The good massage therapist is skilled within his or her massage method and anatomy and is aware of his or her own strength and weakness. The good massage therapist inspires other therapists and share his or her skills with his or her colleagues. It is important for the good massage therapist to try new things in order to develop him or herself. The good massage therapist asks critical questions to him or herself, but does so in a constructive way and spirit. The good massage therapist is focusing on the client's world and not on their own. The good massage therapist reflects on one's own practice. The good massage therapist is careful when using tools in the treatments. Massage treatment. Before we go further, please use a few minutes to find minimum five reasons for massage treatments and write them down. Why does clients come to the massage therapist? Did you do it? I hope so, because there are many good reasons for why clients come to the massage therapist. For some it is because of sports or work related injuries. For others it is because of tension in neck and back because of studies. Some are stressed mentally, others feel burned out. Some seek wellness, others a new experience. We, as massage therapists, must be ready in all scenarios in our clinics, but also when we compete in championships. The good massage therapist adapts to all clients and all scenarios. How does the good massage therapist work in order to be successful at championships? I have made a list I will show you here. Structure. There must be a structure in the treatment that is clear to both therapist and client. Start the treatment by telling the receiver what to expect during the treatment. Preframe the receiver of your massage. Perhaps also tell and preframe the judge by having a piece of paper next to your massage tables telling about your treatment. Use of time. At championships, the massage should begin and end on time. It has a positive effect when the competitor is ready when the massage round begins. 
Minimize wasting time, which often occurs especially at the beginning and at the end of the massage round. Motivate your client. Create an environment and culture at your massage station. It is very important for the participant to encourage the receiver to relax and enjoy. Set up what the receiver of the massage should expect from the treatment, the result. Take individual consideration. Drop the idea of the fictionary average client. Different people experience in different ways and at different pace. Therefore, they must be met with different expectations in order to be successful. The good massage competitor adapts to each client. Train again and again. Preparing for doing many massages up to a championship because practice makes perfect. Training is important to become confident and gain experiences. The more you train, the more likely you will get a good result. Physical surroundings. The physical surroundings and aesthetics are important to the environment. It is about how the rooms and your massage station is or are arranged, how the furniture is placed and what decorations are used. The massage station must be designed to be functional at competitions. The physical surroundings must show that massage treatment is taking place. And it's also a good idea to be clear of which method it is. Tell what you expect. It should be clear to the client what the massage competitor expects from them. And let the judges know as well. Championships should be part of your ongoing development as a massage therapist. You should over time try to improve your theory skills as well, because the good massage therapist need to know how to body read, which means provide yourself with a basic knowledge of how the body works and function. Teach yourself about the most common diseases and illnesses, especially about the muscle system. In particular, of course. Teach yourself to recognize muscular imbalances. Teach yourself to be observant to inappropriate postures and their consequences. Provide yourself with an understanding of what needs to be released and strengthened. To obtain a health professional knowledge to make sure that you, the massage therapist, understands both body and mind of the client and is able to distinguish between normal and abnormal reactions. Furthermore, it is important that the massage therapist acts in a responsible manner and is aware of his or her strengths and weaknesses as a therapist. Treatment Evaluation before the judges evaluate the competitor's physical treatments, they also evaluate how you as a massage competitor receive your client. The judges most likely also evaluate your setup of your massage station, your uniform, as well as your overall service during the treatment. Not all championships are using the same point system or same criteria sheets as the judges use at the World Championship in Massage. Always read the rules and follow them. We are using the IMA point system, which is giving scores and points within the following. Techniques, ergonomics, flow, innovation and client contact. Techniques. Here it is important to know the purposes for the massage. Is it injury treatment or is it wellness? Therefore, I recommend all to let the judges know this somehow, either telling it or writing it down for the judges to see. 
The judge will have this in mind when he or she evaluate the use techniques, the variation of these and the combination and whether the combination is relevant. Ergonomics Regarding the right ergonomic, the judges look at whether you adjust the massage table, how you bodywork, power, transmission is done. Then competitors, body alignment and of course the client's positioning. Flow Regarding the flow and pace of the massage, it is important that the pace is adapted to the purpose of the massage. Should it be a tonifying massage or a relaxation massage? If tonifying, it should be speedier, so the body's nervous system wakes up. But if the purpose is relaxation, the massage should be slower to activate the parasympathetic nervous system. The flow is also about competitor's transaction from one grip to another, from one muscle group to another. Innovation By innovation means creativity and combination of grips and techniques, specifically adjusted to the receiver. Innovation is sometimes important. The best massage therapist thinks for themselves and come up with useful solutions to adapt to the client. Client contact. Before you massage the body of a client, be patient to learn their story. For once you learn their story, you will also come to know their body. Be efficient. Don't waste time. How do we adapt to each client? This is perhaps the most difficult thing in massage. How to show care for other people. A lot of it is about insight and empathy. Technique versus client. It's also about choosing the right massage method for the right purpose and learning the client's expectations and needs. Explain your client about your methods and why you do what you do if necessary. Use your professional knowledge. If the client is a stressed businesswoman expecting a relaxed massage and you give her a sports massage, then you have not met her expectations. This goes for massage championships as well. You always have to adapt to the client. Pressure and death versus client. Adapting the pressure to the recipient is difficult but can be learned. Always during the massage rounds, be aware how the client reacts to your pressure during the massage and adjust. Therapist, workwear and tools can also be difficult to use in a massage treatment in order to maintain the right pressure. Therefore, be extra aware when using tools. Draping is important and shows professionalism. And it's not difficult to learn, but it is important to remember. How to give feedback to others after receiving a massage at championships. At the World Championship in massage and other IMA competitions, the competitors are giving each other massages and we advise all to give feedback Remember, we are together to improve our skills. Therefore, I recommend to use the burger model. Start with something good, then bad, or what the massage therapist could have done better, and then add something good again. When doing so, remember to be kind, to be specific, helpful, and constructive. In some competitions, the competitors must bring their own model. Now I will ask of you to have a look at this 10 minute long beautiful video from the World Championship in Massage. Try to evaluate what you are seeing. What is good? What is bad? What do you miss? And what else comes to mind?
Thank you.